Good morning, visitors. Right now we have the Edgar B. Spear approaching the Duluth Ship Canal. The Edgar B. Spear was built in 1980 by the American Shipbuilding Company in Lorain, Ohio. She measures 1,004 feet in length, 105 feet in width, and 56 feet in depth. She is powered by two 9,600 horsepower, 18-cylinder peel stick diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 15 knots or about 17 miles per hour. She is also equipped with bow and stern thrusters, aid her maneuverability and port. The Edgar B. Spear has 20 uh, hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 28 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 73,700 tons. Above her deck, fitted sideways at her stern, is a 52-foot self-unloading shuttle boom, which allows her to load her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Edgar B. Spear is owned by the Duluth-based Great Lakes Fleet, a subsidiary of Canadian National Railway, and operated by Key Lakes Incorporated, also in Duluth. The Edgar B. Spear is named in honor of a former chairman of the board of U.S. Steel. She loaded iron ore pellets and two harbors in Minnesota on her maiden voyage in 1980, her normal port of call to this day. Her unusual unloading system restricts her cargo to iron ore pellets, which she can only deliver to Gary, Indiana, or Conneaut, Ohio. The Spear recently broke all previous vessel records for tonnage at the Sioux Locks in July of 2017, when she carried 73,875 tons of iron ore pellets through the locks for Gary, Indiana. That record has since been broken because of the high water levels we've had on Lake Superior in the last few years. Um, but then that single load alone, it would take about 2,900 trucks to haul um, the iron ore pellets that she was carrying that day. Great Lakes Fleet is the direct descendant of the historic and dominant Pittsburgh Steamship Company founded in 1901 by U.S. Steel. It was the largest fleet of ships in the world when founded and remained the largest fleet on the lakes for most of its, uh, most of its existence. The Edgar B. Spear is coming in today to uh, first fuel at Husky Fuel, and then they will be shifting over to load Igor pellets at Canadian National here in West Duluth. The Edgar B. Spear, like I said, usually visits two harbors uh, most of the season. It doesn't visit Duluth too often, so it's nice to see her coming in today. And you, as you've been noticing, she has been uh, sounding off her horn every so often. That's a normal procedure uh, for larger ships coming through fog, just so that whoever's in the area knows that there's a vessel there. Um, and they're supposed to do it pretty frequently. So once again, we have the Edgar B. Spear arriving through the Duluth Ship Canal. She was built in 1980, measures 1,004 feet. feet in width and 56 feet in depth. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 73,700 tons. Owned by Duluth-based Great Lakes Fleet and operated by Key Lakes Incorporated also of Duluth. And she's currently on her way in today to fuel and then to load iron ore pellets at Canadian National. If you see any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a good wave and welcome them back to the Twin Ports.